hello everyone in this video uh, I'm going to give you my last month's sales update being the month of um, August 2018 and I'm sure you are aware of I'm a, a part-time eBay not a full-time one so this is what I managed to sell in the month of August 2018 All right I made a sale of 43 items and I turn about 700 and 34 84 pounds 700 and and 84 pence 700 pound and 84 pence sales now last month I had uh, um, roughly a lot of stuff leftover stuff I couldn't sell over the last year so I decided to do some auction and as I'm sure you know when you're doing auctions is basically lack of a draw so sometimes you may end up selling products absolutely next to nothing so just to get rid of them like some of these things I've sold yeah um, I paid more than what I sold them for but because I just wanted to get rid of them so I couldn't care less you know but I did end up I did stick the poster and packaging in there so at least I didn't have to pay for that so a load of this stuff I'm showing you on top of the screen is basically gone on auctions um, some of them actually surprised me as well this um, this uh, um, what do you call this handheld electric game it's a bop it yeah extreme 2 and uh, that's really surprised me because I was I wasn't expecting to get what I got I got um, 16 pound here yeah, 16 pound for it um, uh, I tend to start the auction at uh, 99 pence so uh, there was a big battle it's like uh, a bidding war going on here so I end up selling that for 16 quid and I bought that for two pounds so that was a, a great sell next item uh, Harry Potter books and uh, no, sorry now this is not a book this is the uh, old cassette recorder cassette cassette all type of cassette tape yeah um, it went for three pounds 79 and obviously I paid uh, I don't know 50 p each so there you go uh, next item again there was a Jen's grooming set yeah um paid I think a pound for it you went for 99 pence so lost again this couple of items lost so let's get back to my profit making item right a bum bag which my one of my daughters actually bought so she um, unfortunately she doesn't use it so she gave it to me to sell it and she paid 15 quid for it I think I got my 15 quid back 14.99 so I got my money back on that one for her next item we have a Philips 3-in-1 uh, electric steam baby bottle sterilizer I uh, paid five pounds for it and got um, 19.99 back on that one yeah I often whenever I sell I saw uh, sorry I whenever I find this kind of stuff I just buy it and that's a good sell again and the next one uh, I picked this this um, baby bath support seat for two pound and sold it for 12.95 12.95 yeah we are 12.95 yeah and next item is 
a bow pit extreme 2 again and I did not put that in auction but that went for £10 and 50p paid 2 quid for it Right, my usual stuff, Nike Air, Air Force 182 paid uh, five pound and I got 22.99 back. Right, now these, these sort of stuff really, really interests me. You know, like um, here we are, a Panasonic cordless phone charger or base unit or cradle, right? Pair, I bought the handset with it as well so there was a, a set with it but the handset did not work so i just decided to sell the, the cradle and the charger together and i paid four quid for it and on the charger itself i got 9.99 back 9.95 so again that's a good thing right now this is very interesting i bought this pair it's called adidas decayed high Eat more shoe, right? Some designer Sam Flores. Uh, it's a guy into music, I think. So the chap who I bought this from, he told me a lot of things about this guy, uh, and I took no notice of it. So I just banged it at twenty eight ninety five, and believe it or not, that went within a couple of hours of foot enough for the, for the listing. Uh, that was very good. Next one again, Converse. Uh, usually I paid between, yeah, if they're really cracking pair, I tend to pay four pound tops, six, seven quid. I don't never pay more than that, okay. And this this item of a Richard Jug, I'm gonna make another video on this and this is the drop shipping uh, items. I just testing it out. Um, I am not sure what that was basically, I dropped it from Amazon to a customer. That was great. And the next one is Converse again. I went for 14 pound and 18 pence, paid two quid. Now this item again, look, uh, a blender, handheld blender or Bosch blending food mixer, right. Um, I think I made about seven, eight quid profit on that one. And I'm going to do it and show you another video how it's done. Again, a drop shipping product. I was testing it out. So I went for £54.94. Um, now, these ones I try not to touch, but occasionally when I get it, I, I buy it. Uh, this is a uh, money saving pot. Um, Port of Dreams, I think they're called, yeah. I paid a quid for it, one pound, and I, I got 12 95 back on that one. And my usual stuff, uh, 59 50 um, uh, baseball cap, All right, okay. Now, this is very interesting. Um, this is a Arsenal football kit, Terry Henry, Arsenal Vintage Retro. Uh, 1996 I had to do a lot of research onto this I had to make sure the uh, the kit was original so luckily that was original kit and I paid two pound for it uh, jersey just a jersey with Terry Henry on it and number 14 Arsenal top uh, right that was that went for 29.95 I got twenty nine ninety five. That one for yeah. There we are twenty five twenty nine ninety five on that one. So that was a good sell. Next item is, is um, um, Gotham City Batman gel. Paid six quid eighteen ninety nine. Got back. And Mamas and Papas baby's feeding seat. That was one. One unusual one, hardly they, they don't, I think they're discontinued, so I uh, paid £4, got back 23.45 on that one. Uh, Nike, pair of Nikes here, Jordan, they are usual lot. Um, uh, 
a board game, Monogamy, yeah, paid two pound, got twelve fifty five back. Uh, what we are now, okay, the Nike Air Force. Sometime I let them go really, really cheap. So this one seventeen ninety nine, I got paid to four quid. Now this item here, again, as I said before, I was trying, I'm um, trying drop shipping. Yeah, it's called uh, the eBay transfer is um, product resourcing. So <laughs> proof of concept, right? I put some Andrex toilet tissue. It went for thirty two ninety eight. I think I made five or six quid profit on that. Uh, shifted from Amazon. Customers happy with that. I brought a labeler. Two quid. Go back twelve pound fifty. Twelve fifty. Right. Um. Again. Um. I outdoor bench, plastic bench. Um, hundred and eight pound. I pay. Uh, somebody paid hundred and eight quid. Okay, and I think I paid something like uh, seventy eight pound for it. I dropped a shift from Amazon again. Now, after all the fees and everything, a good ten fifteen quid profit on that one. Right, and uh, nowadays I'm. I'm sort of getting used to selling f telephones and I'm finding that a lot of I'm selling a lot of telephones lately. Um, so we have a, a Panasonic uh, decked cordless telephone here. Paid four pound. Go back twenty one ninety nine. Uh, and another one, BT Freestyle seven fifty. Again two quid. Got eighteen ninety nine back. Um, and finally, another BT cordless, as you can see here. Again, uh, four pound, go about $15.99. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I, I hope you like what sort of thing I've showed you. Um, this is not to brag or anything, but to help you people out there who is trying to start an eBay business or are in a business where you can literally go and source this product and start selling it. It helps other people be honest in life to go about. So what sort of thing is selling? You know, when you go to your car board, so you can look out for this stuff. And you know they're selling because I'm selling them. Right, and you can literally go and buy them and replicate. Simple as that. And the next video, I'm going to show you something else. Right, I'm just going off the subject. So, basically, primarily, the object for these videos to help everyone out. Okay, it's nothing to be jealous about. Uh, or anything like that. It just gives you an idea what you can achieve if you can put time and effort into it and start learning this business. You know, I could literally triple this, quadruple monthly my taking if I wanted to, but because I have other commitment, i um, sort of hold back a bit. But hopefully within not short future, or distance future, I, I'm thinking, you know, doing a big time rather than keep showing you all this smaller amount. But hey, anyway, look, even in a small amount of this amount, the profit margin is sometimes ridiculous. So, you know, on average, you're looking at 45, even 45, some cases, 80, 90, 2000 profit profit. So think about it for a second. And it's basically a passion selling secondhand stuff. And passion, you know, for stuff. And there is a buzz to go and pick this stuff up and sell it. But of course, there's always a frustration. 
you know when you when you do auction things like that look um sometimes it's really frustrating is when you put up for auction and you know it you you are not going to get the money back or something is going to go wrong unless you want to put um a reserve one but what's the point putting reserve on on an item it just truly waste of time um, as you can see here look river island uh, woman jeans size 6 regular black now that went for 99 pence that's joking you know how can you sell a pair of jeans for 99p and of course look it went for 99 pence here we are look 99p but luckily I stuck the PNP in it so but uh, I'm sure you know as well as do I paid more than 99 pence for that pair of jeans but I just wanted to get rid of it right same thing here formerly uh, a bundle of family board game since when can you buy Logan billionaire doctor who and scribe scrabbles right for these I had two two logo millionaire board game and right, let me show you the picture of this All right so you get better understanding of this right here we are two scribble right now this is a, a fantastic set and guess how much I sold them for? I bought these damn things for over some of them for four quid each, some for two quid each. Think about it. And then what happens? Right there we go. Look, see that? Winning bid two twenty nine. Fantastic, isn't it? Brilliant. So what happens when the the uh, the person who bought it took it and he complained? Half of them missing, although. I know they're not missing because I was, I got really annoyed putting them up and they weren't selling. So I got the hump and I put up what, a lot for sale, right? And easily that person can make up one set, even if I have some missing, one of these logo millionaires can be made up. These are perfect boxes, right? Perfect, everything inside. You can just make one damn game out of one and he can sell it for 12 13 quid just one game forget about the rest but he paid 229 and plus the shipping cost i put 650 so altogether eight nine eight pounds on the level but still go grown and moon you know that's what uh, uh, auction does for you so whenever you're doing an auction make sure you're prepared to lose money so thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe button and write comments, please. I like to hear some comments and I also like to uh, hear how, what sort of thing I'm doing in this channel. Are you liking my videos or not liking it? I do have other few video channels, you know, YouTube channels, things like that, but primarily I need your help to raise this channel to a decent level you know get up there I have a channel uh, has over 14,000 subscribers so I want to get to that level in this channel and help me get there so please click like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching